The FAQ has been around forever and there's a reason for that. When folks are new to a niche, just like you know, they're going to ask the same questions again and again and again. So an FAQ stands for Frequently Asked Question and that's exactly what a fact page or post does. It answers the most common questions within a niche. So putting up an FAQ is a great place to point newbies when they come to your site the first time. You'll find that in many niches, people actually will even do the search in Google for keyword and then FAQ. So they might be searching for tomato growing FAQ. So you'll be answering the newbies questions and helping them build confidence in you and your site as an expert, but you'll also be encouraging the search engines to send you traffic for that keyword plus FAQ key phrase. An FAQ is a really perfect example of one of the important, important pieces of evergreen content that you really should have on your blog or your site. It's one of those pieces of content that like an about me page, it's going to be looked at over and over and over again. It'll provide people an entry place to get to know you, or in this case, to get to know the niche. And they'll also get to know your personal style by reading or watching the way that you answer the FAQ questions. A fact is best utilized by your site visitors when they can find it. If you're using WordPress, a fact might be best created as a WordPress page and then linked to from your main site navigation, preferably somewhere near the top. You want to make that linking visible. You want to make it evergreen so that people can utilize this page for a long time to come. And you want to make it thorough and you want to make it good. Again, because this is an evergreen piece, it's a piece that people will be looking at probably more often than your day-to-day -day posts. So you absolutely want to ensure that you have a call to action within your FAQ page. So that might be a newsletter sign up form at the bottom, or it might be a call to like your site on Facebook. Depends on the objectives of your site, of course, but ensure that you've got something as these kinds of pages are such valuable real estate and it's an absolute pity to waste them. So let's talk about the actual content of the fact. Again, having been uh, totally immersing yourself in your niche, you I'm sure already know some of the questions that people ask again and again when they're newbies to the topic. So start with those. You can also go to Yahoo Answers or eHow or Answers.com for inspiration for things that people are answering in the niche. Now, again, keep in mind that the purpose of a fact is not to answer every single question in the niche. That's what your blog's for. That's what your site's for is to get that super deep. The FAQ is for newbies. It's the frequently asked questions. It's the common misconceptions. It's the where do I begin? You can also search Google for facts in your niche and see what other, other webmasters think those most frequently asked questions are. If you see a particular question that's on every single webmaster's fact, you might want to put it on yours as well, if in fact it makes sense to you and, and does seem like something that people ask a lot in the niche. If you've got an existing audience already, ask them what kinds of things they think newbies to the niche most need to know. You can do this in your own sites uh, via comments or a contact form. If you collected an email list, then you can do it via email or even do it inside a forum. Hey guys, what do you think are the most important things that newbies need to know in that niche? I'm compiling an FAQ document and, uh, and I'd love your input. People love to help stuff like that. Now taking a look at other FAQs, even outside of your own niche can inspire you. So let's show you some examples of that. So here we are, we're back at the tomato growing niche. Thank goodness, I've missed it. And we've got the tomato growing FAQ where they answer the most common questions regarding tomato growing. How much sun do I need? How do I prepare the soil? Should I grow heirloom or hybrid? Do I need to plant my tomatoes in a different place each year? So this one has, you know, the most common questions. There's a few links. These links are actually paid links. Now, what I would absolutely recommend in anybody's FAQ, uh, some of these go to their own posts, but if you have a post on uh, how much sun do I need to grow tomatoes, and that also is a frequently asked question, then you're going to want to say short answer, one to two sentences, and then for more information on how much sun I need to grow tomatoes, go here with a link to another post on your site that really gets into that in depth. So FAQs can also be an opportunity for you to link 
to other articles on your site so that people can get more in-depth information and to also get the SEO keyword thing going on in there. Here's another one. Uh, garden gnomes. Yeah, people love these things apparently, big collector's items. So they have an FAQ at GardenGnomeWorld.com about what they're doing, uh, what their site's about. If the gnome I want says it's unavailable, what's going on? Because uh, sometimes we run out of them. Uh, my gnome broke in the mail. You are a murderer. Just kidding. Stuff happens. So anyway, in this in this case, we're looking at a retail site, so their FAQs are going to be a little bit different, although they do ask the general question, who designs them, why gnomes, that kind of thing. Uh, but if you're dealing with a retail site, you can have the opportunity with your FAQ to answer shipping, payment, returns, broken items, questions, and also include a little bit about why or some details about that particular market, niche, product, that kind of thing. Here's another FAQ from Pandora Internet Radio. This thing is super duper extensive and I mean, you know, I would consider this almost more of a just complete help file as opposed to an FAQ. Now each one of these links to another page. So this page is, can I donate to Pandora? And it's linked to from the FAQ page. Now this is a, a, a really great way to put together your FAQ page, just like the tomato growing one where we've got links. Within this, we have links to the content uh, so that each piece of content can be kept on its own page. Right, I wouldn't absolutely do it this exact same way uh, in a niche where I'm competing with other folks. Now, if I was Pandora Radio, this is fine to do because I'm the only person with a Pandora Radio FAQ, right? But if I'm competing with other people in the tomato growing niche and I just had a page that said tomato growing FAQs and then it just linked out to every single post on my, or, you know, a bunch of posts on my site, that's that page itself, that FAQ page might not pick up a lot of traction in the search engine because it doesn't really have any of its own content on it. It's just a page of links when it comes down to it. Again, fine for Pandora Radio because they're not competing for search engine traffic for this key phrase of Pandora Radio FAQs or, or the like. For your own site, for your niche site, uh, for a site where you're competing with other folks for that keyword traffic, uh, I would go with a hybrid. You're going to have one or two sentences that answer the question and then a link that says, you know, to get the the, the full description or for uh, complete details or for a step-by-step -step or whatever the case may be, then you give them a link to that. There's another one. This one's about bulking up so that you could be a big beefy man-man. Uh, and this is just on a forum and obviously it isn't somebody's web page. It's not been put together and, and it's not some crazy uh, fancy thing. This is on a forum, but it's got a lot of links. Is this by the guy? Yeah, this is by the guy who owns the site. So he who owns this form and he did a lot of linking in here to other resources. What exercises do I need to do and when? First, find out your fitness level. If you're under 17, start here. If you're older than 17, start here, so on and so forth. So he really gives people a place to begin, which is kind of the point of an FAQ, right? You don't want to just answer everybody's questions on that one page, because if you answered everybody's questions on one page about a particular niche, you'd have a 40 page uh, or a 400 or a 4,000 page website uh, that's all on one page. That's not helpful for people. So the purpose here is to organize the information and direct people to where they can find out deeper information on those topics that they're interested in. And this guy did a really, really uh, excellent job of that. Also, the formatting is good. You can see what are the questions here. They're in bold. And then the answers are indented. So it's very, very easy to see. Uh, and then, you know, he also says things like, uh, everybody says a beginner needs to do squats. So an FAQ is also a place where you can, um, where you can address common misconceptions if those kinds of things are in your marketplace.
So these are just some random examples that I picked out and wanted to show you because they all have good points to them. Again, your fact, the best bet based on most people being in niche marketplaces is going to be something kind of similar to this where you've got a short question and a short answer and a link where people can go and find more information. And remember your formatting so that it's easy for folks to read. Whatever your niche is, there's stuff that people want to know regularly over and over again. So prepare a fact for them. Your site will be friendlier to newbies and attract search engine traffic when you do do that. And above all, this is pillar evergreen content. So don't forget to link to it prominently from your homepage so people who land on your site can find it.